so we are starting with coc and clear all and then we are going to read our image the image will be b.png We are going to convert it to grey image from the RGB image. Then we are going to show the image. So this is okay. Now we can just use this variable for resizing our image so that we can understand the operation property. We are going to resize the gray image to 5 by 5. So there will be only 25 values for us to check. If you go here you can see these values. Now we are going to plot our histogram with these values. And later we will apply this to our whole image. So this is our array and we are assigning zeros for 256 column as there are 0 to 256. Sorry, 0 to 255. So total 256 values. So for that we are actually assigning zeros for one row and 256 column then we are going to get the size of our image and that will be z then after this we are going to use this for our for loop so for i will be equal from 1 to now we are going to use just 5 later we will change it with x and y so let's use i equal 1 to 5 and j equal 1 to 5. Then we need to end our for loop and here in between this we need to write our main formula. So here m is let's say one variable and this one will be equal the value of our pixel. So here we are getting the pixel value and here after this we are getting this uh, equal m that means if our pixel value is 150 then m is equal 150 and now the position of our array element is 150 there we will increment that value from 0 to 1 or if it is 1 then we will make it 2 it will increment by 1 every time so now let's apply this on B as this is our resized image this is the smaller version of our image grayscale image so we can see the change properly now if we run this code again and you can okay we need to actually give a variable to see the value and match it with our uh, image so let's check our image here you can see these values are here now see if we check the 72th element of our array you will see the result how many times this is inside our array so the value is 1 that means in this image there is only 172 and if we check for 114 then you will see there will be more than one yes the answer is three and if you check this image this 25 element there is three 114 so that is how we are getting our result inside our array so this uh, these uh, numbers are actually inside this array not the pixel value but how many times a pixel value appears from 0 to 255 so that is how we are getting our results here and if we search for 80 you see there is no 80 value inside that 25 values of our image that is why we get 0 now we are going to change it to our complete image G and here we can make it comment we don't need this anymore we just did that for checking the values if they are working properly or not so now after this we can actually draw this array for showing our histogram and here you will see that from 0 to 256 there will be the 
in the x-axis it will be from 0 to 256 and in the y-axis we will see the values of how many times this value has appeared in our complete image okay we are not getting it because we have not changed the limit of our for loop here we need to change it with x and y so this is i equal 1 to x and j equal 1 to y so now we can just run again and we can stem the array to show the output here you can see so from 0 to 256 each uh, of this position hold the value for each value uh, how many times it has appeared so here is our maximum value or peak point so let's see how what is the value of this one so no not this one this one okay if we click on this and point here okay so the x value is 155 and it appears 2747 so let's check our value for array of 155 let's write it here array of 155 and run it here you get the same answer 2747 so that means our array is working properly and the stem is showing the proper histogram here also you can actually show your uh, histogram by bar chart and for that you need to write like this bar and it, then inside parenthesis you need to give the variable sorry array now we are not actually getting the bar chart here because uh, it is getting overwritten by the letter function stream we need to include figure in between them to get two figures separately okay now we are getting figure 1 and figure 2 so the first one is our bar chart and this one is from the stem Now if you see here there is another function called HIST this is built in function for actually drawing the histogram or plotting the histogram here you can see this is x x is an array of numbers so there you can see that from 0 to 10 there are different numbers and they appear different times so here you can see in x axis we get from 0 to 10 10 level and here on, in, on the y axis we can see the number of times they appear you see 10 appears twice in this array so we are getting 2 here and that is how we are getting all these values here you can see 9 9 appears 3 times and if you check in this array again so here is first one this is the second one and there is our third 9 so that is why we are seeing 3 in this graph so that is how our histogram actually works and you can actually get the values of your image inside an array and then use histogram function directly but this is the problem you cannot apply it here with this array if you apply it you can see how the result looks like here you can see this is your result and here you need to actually get um, 0 to 256 but you can see that the value is more than 2500 so here we are getting this wrong answer because inside this array we don't have our pixel value that is actually from 0 to 256 we have the amount of number that app, uh, amount of okay we have the number how many times this uh, pixel value actually appeared in our complete image so like 72 we don't have 72 in, in our array we have how many times 72 app appear in our image so that is why we are not actually getting the proper histogram we need to actually have all these values pixel values inside an array then we can actually use this histogram so for that i will show you in another code here let me just delete this and copy this whole part then i will show you how you can modify it if you want to use that histogram function so here i'm going to paste it and now let's modify so this part is okay we are going to convert this to grayscale image then we don't need this part we just need to take the size before this um, array declaration 
and here the array value will not be 256 because here you will see more values than then so here you can see the size now and now we need to change the array here this will be 1 comma x into y because this is the number of pixels so this is our array so there will be this many pixels x into y and uh, for saving those value inside an array we need to actually have that many uh, element inside our array so that is why we are giving zeros 1 comma x into y and then after this we are going to change this uh, function here sorry change this loop here and for that let's go to this portion and let's uh, define our variable first the m m will be initially 1 and then it will change after we save this value inside our array so here array of 1 will be equal We need to delete this part so array will save the pixel value that is inside our image so we need to take the value from image g x comma y so each pixel of g will be actually saved inside an element of our array and then we need to increment the value of m let's save this file We don't need this part because we are going to use haste function and then here after this let's just write haste inside this array now let's write uh, run this code and see okay we are only getting just one value this is not okay okay this is happening because here we have not used i and j instead i just used x and y it will be i comma j now if we run again and check to see if everything is okay or not okay now we are getting the values properly so this is from 0 to 256 and here you can see much more value than expected the highest value was 2747 but we are getting around 5000 values so this is not okay this is actually okay but we are actually not seeing it uh, properly so let me just uh, change the size of this g will be equal image resize to 5 into 5 and then you can see the change so here is our histogram and if we actually see the value and match it properly you will understand this so here is our 25 value from 0 to um, 168 so here you can see the final value is 168 so we are getting till 170 and here the graph ends and here you can see it starts with 72 ends with 168 and start with 72 but you can see that we are not getting the graph for each point we are getting for a range you can see if we click on this one we are getting the center point so we are getting the center value and here in this range from 70 to 80 how many values are there one so they are counting like this from 70 to 80 sorry 80 to 90 there is one and if we uh, check for 100 to 110 then if we count we are getting three you can actually count and uh, check if there is only three value or not let me see again so there is two and if we check again there will be okay there is another one 108 so everything is okay there is three value in this range and if we check from 110 to 120 then you will see there is seven value and it will be actually correct so this two three four okay 
so it is okay we are actually getting seven values here also in this portion and now if you want to check you can check it properly so we are getting the proper histogram but we are getting it in range so that is why we actually that is why it looks a bit different so if you want to now apply it on your whole image you are getting the exact histogram here properly but uh, this is actually in range that is why the maximum value in the y-axis looks a bit different than the original one we have seen previously so you can actually write your code in both way whichever function you like to use and whichever method you like thank you